For the entire history of human existence, and most of the history of astronomy, we have studied the universe only in visible light, which is a tiny fraction of the range of electromagnetic radiation. Visible light spans barely a factor of two in wavelength, from waves of about 400 nanometers in length to about 700 nanometers, blue light to red light. Starting in the 1930s, the technology was developed to detect, collect, and focus radio waves from space. And so the first type of astronomy was born that did not use visible light. By the 1950s and 60s, microwaves could be used to detect from space and x-rays using satellites. And so, by the end of the 20th century, the electromagnetic spectrum had been broken open to the use of astronomers using a mixture of ground-based and space-based telescopes. We can now detect a range of 10 to the 15 in wavelength from a single astrophysical object, perhaps a quasar. That is, all the way from meter-length radio waves to gamma rays that are smaller than the atomic nucleus. This vast range of wavelength space in the electromagnetic spectrum greatly increases our power to understand the universe.